गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग मिस्टर गोपाल सिंह राइट गुड इवनिंग सर कंग्रेचुलेशन ऑन सिक्योरिंग ऑल इंडिया रैंक टेन विथ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्पेशलाइजेशन इन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस एग्जाम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू थैंक यू वेरी मच यू आर प्राउड टू से दैट यू हैव यू आर ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ मीन्स लाइव बैच पोस्टल कोचिंग ऑफलाइन टेस्ट सीरीज एंड इंटरव्यू गाइडेंस प्रोग्राम Right. So, briefly about yourself, Mr. Gopal ji. Right. Uh, so, uh, my name is Gopal Singh. Uh, I'm natively from Bihar, but I'm settled there in Delhi. I did my graduation in civil engineering from IIT Gandhi Nagar in 2019, and uh, this year I got a uh, ten in civil engineering branch. In ESC. Is it your first attempt or second? No, sir. Uh, uh, it was my second serious attempt. Uh, first attempt was non-serious, so. i reached a prelim stage i cleared prelims uh, but unfortunately there was covid lockdown and i couldn't study for mains and so okay. that was not a very serious attempt okay. so this is a kind of in technically this is my third attempt okay so basically what difference you brought in a preparation strategy in this final academic right so uh, i would say in first attempt uh, my syllabus was also not complete so that is uh, we don't count that in second attempt yes. uh, i did uh, seriously i did study seriously but uh, during mains uh, i did few mistakes which uh, for example i didn't give much uh, test which is very oh. much needed uh, practice is very much needed in mains exam as you know mm. so that was one of the biggest mistake And that was yeah. because of some reason i couldn't give this time yeah. i ensured that i give uh, all the test series in mains exam i gave uh, around uh, 40 50 test in uh, as as mock test in mains test and that helped mm-hmm. very much because mm-hmm. i got good marks in mains this year uh, so that was the major change this time okay coming to the prelims exam how many marks you got in general studies paper and a technical paper uh i quite don't uh, remember the uh, bifurcation but i think i got around 29 uh, 289 points of marks in total 289 is a fantastic score <laughs> right sir. okay so what subjects you prepared for general studies paper so uh, maths and aptitude obviously uh, because i am from technical background uh, it was a uh, fun to prepare for that and i should uh, suggest all the aspirants that they should at least prepare maths and aptitude with uh, and they practice it uh, seriously apart from that uh, i studied uh, environment and mm. project management mm. and material science and okay. uh, i think project uh, okay project management i said so only these subjects and other i just had a brief reading of study material which i had other than that i didn't do much uh, honestly and uh, i see means, many students right means, i see many students okay. running uh-huh. after current affair which i think is i didn't do anything seriously uh-huh. i had a few you know uh, i keep an app in my mobile so just like a normal user i would uh, read few headlines that's it that's uh, i mean general habit not for uh, exam purpose mm. so that's sufficient i would say running after it doesn't serve any purpose Okay. It means uh, apart from maths and aptitude, you focused mm-hmm. mostly on those subjects where a civil engineer may have certain minimum basics. Right, right. sir. Right. Okay. Current affairs because of its vast nature, vast. you have not focused much on it. Okay. Right, sir. Very good. Because very good. the yield is very low. Even if you put yes. so much effort, the yield is very low. So there is yes. no point. In terms of investment, ROI. Right, right, sir. Great, great, great. So with respect to technical prelims paper, one fifty questions. Have you attempted mm-hmm. all the questions? No, sir. I think I attempted around one thirty-eight, one thirty-nine type of questions. Okay. Okay. So what was your uh, strategy in the exam hall? How? Have you attempted as questions in serial number or any other strategy follow? No, 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 no. Uh, I attempted in two go in the first uh, series of my attempting questions. I did all the questions which I could do uh, very fast, and I left yes. few numericals which I thought that I know I could do it, but it would take time. So I left it for second round. In second okay. uh, round, I started with those numericals which I could do, 
and i try to attempt some questions where i had you know uh, doubt in two options where i know only these two options are correct so i took risk on the, in those questions so elimination and, techniques you followed right as far as uh, paper one is concerned my uh, strategy was to maximize the number of attempts i had in my mind that i would attempt more than 90 uh, questions although mm-hmm. i was not able to attempt more than 90 i attempted around 90 so that was the general strategy because if you attempt less the chances are you will get less marks so coming to the mains paper paper 1 paper 2 how many mm-hmm. marks you got separately or all together in mains right uh, i got 140 marks in paper 1 mm-hmm. and 252 marks in paper 2 okay quite surprising so you nice. got more in paper 2 right because this year as you know paper 1 was a bit difficult and i got time consuming uh, uh, what i heard right unless sir few questions were which we haven't seen and uh, i got startled because i had in mind that i would attempt more but uh, seeing the paper i got startled somewhat so that also took some toll on the paper 1 mm-hmm. but paper 2 was uh, on the predictive side so i was able to attempt uh, all the i mean the whole paper i could attempt so that's mm-hmm. why i got 2 paper 2 marks what is your strategy to answer the conventional or subject questions in a qcab format right sir uh, as far as qcab is concerned i never felt uh, you know uh, that uh, i should be concerned about the space because i stick okay. to the point i don't write much i mm-hmm. write to the point answers and i think that is uh, evident from my marks in paper 2 that it works because paper 2 also has uh, very theoretical questions and still i could achieve good marks in that so uh, that is something which uh, you could conclude from that so as far as space is needed i think they provide sufficient space uh, to to the students mm-hmm. also i try to keep it in a uh, uh, point for format so i write uh, theory questions in point format only what is asked not mm-hmm. much not less which is subject you found more scoring in mains papers uh, in scoring. paper 1 uh-huh. although i could not achieve, uh, get uh, very good marks in paper 1 mm-hmm. but uh, for me rcc uh, uh, som and uh, ctm these were some of more scoring marks which i found during test series that i could get good marks in those questions because structural analysis although uh, although even if you have good command but it's time consuming i pref- personally preferred uh, if it's avoidable i would avoid uh, structural analysis questions because <laughs> ultimately ultimately you have to achieve marks not marks. that yes you know uh, the question mm. it's and, not the question of how many bullets you have fired how right. many bullets reached the target right <laughs> so how many marks you got which is subject you attempted in material right that, right sir that so and in, in paper, paper two, two. Oh, hmm. yeah in paper 2 uh, i had kind of phobia with uh, you know fluid mechanics and uh, hydraulic machines apart from that uh, other subjects like soil mechanics obviously it's one of the most important subjects in paper 2 environment soil mechanics and transportation these were a uh, few subjects uh, which i try to prefer in attempting questions so that was my so geotech strategy. transportation etc hd groups okay very good right sir very good so coming to the interview and personality test mm. so what was your preparation before moving into the interview board right uh, sir uh, honestly i didn't prepare much uh, i tried to uh, try to you know uh, make my personality such that i would uh, attempt i would handle questions uh, greatly and i think that helped uh, in great deal also mock test i at, uh, attended mock test also at ace academy so that also helped so mm-hmm. my strategy was to be confident there because uh, ultimately they are a testing personality not the technical background even though uh, i couldn't answer few technical questions i simply said i handled it uh, with confidence that i don't know sir and moved uh, to next questions how many so, marks uh, you got in the interview 130 marks sir 130 good score good score thank you sir how much time your interview lasted i think around 25 kitna time liya tha around 25 minutes sir. 25 minutes okay 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 reasonable not too long not too short right. 
So any questions related to current affairs? Uh, um, not exactly current affairs. With chairman, mostly interaction was related to since I'm from IIT, started uh, about discussing about IITs, about research, uh, the state of research in India and all those things. And then uh, mm -hmm. out of three panel members, one panel member solely focused on the current job, which I have uh, questions related to that. And one panel member, uh, he started asking questions about earthquake, RCC designs and all that. Some basic questions and some uh, IS code related questions. Um, third member, uh, he kind of uh, mixed uh, both uh, job related and uh, geotechnical questions. So that was broadly how the interview went. Okay. Well done. Well done, Gopalji. So Thank you, sir. what is your suggestion to the juniors? Uh, I would say if you are uh, preparing, prepare hard with dedication and uh, practice, practice and revise that these two things will surely get you success. Don't. Uh, so what is the right know? time? What is the right time to start preparation in your opinion? Do you take second year or third year or finally like that? I would suggest third year, although I didn't start in third year, but I think third year is <laughs> ideal time because in third year, you start uh, uh, studying technical subjects in college. Mm, Till second yeah. year, enjoy. But mm. in third year, uh, you can side by side see how, uh, what type of questions is being asked in ESE while you are mm. doing their technical subjects. And so th third year, fourth year, uh, you can have a good grip before attempting. Anyway, once again, congratulations, Gopal Ji. Huh? Pranam you, to our parents. Okay. God Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye.